Hey guys, what's up? This is Place the Movie Fan and welcome to my first movie review of 2015. I'm gonna kick off the year by talking about a classic made by my favorite director of all time, Reserve Your Dog. Of course I had high expectations for this movie, I mean after all, Quentin Tarantino is my favorite director of all time. And I wasn't disappointed. So this movie is basically about some guy who got shot and his partner along with other people are trying to figure out who set them up. Now I'm going to start by talking about the characters. First of all I would like to say that all the characters that this movie focused on are fucking fantastic. And this movie really does focus on a lot of them. There is no one protagonist of this movie. There are a fucking lot of them. Now focusing on too many characters can make for an inconsistent movie. But nope, not in this case because Quentin Tarantino really knows how to focus on a lot of characters and yet keeping the story consistent. I could easily talk about every single last one of the characters of the movie as all of them are worth talking about but like usual I'm only going to talk about three of my favorite characters. I'm going to start with Mr. Pink played by Steve Buscemi. The reason why he is my favorite character of the movie is because he is extremely fucking smart and extremely bearish. In fact, he is the smartest of the characters of the movie. He always knows what the hell he's talking about. He always wants to make the decisions that make most sense. And yeah, he is overall fucking awesome. He is the guy that I was rooting for the most in this movie. But I didn't get bored when I saw the scenes that didn't focus on him. Because like I said, all the characters of the movie are fucking fantastic. But out of all of them, he is definitely the most fantastic one. And I fucking agreed with him 100%. Now the next character that I want to talk about is Joe Carpot, played by Laverance Tinere. Now Joe is of course the mob boss. And I gotta admit, he is a fucking awesome mob boss. In fact, I would go as far as to say that he is one of the best mob bosses in movie history. Yeah, he's really that fucking awesome. The movie doesn't really focus on him as much as it does on the other characters, but he is still a very fucking important character and I really like him a lot. Yeah, he really knows how to run a fucking mob. Now the third character that I would like to talk about is Mr. Orange, played by Tim Roth. Now near the beginning of the movie, he is the one who is very injured and is bleeding. And I'm gonna admit, that is very fucking sad, even though I don't know much about him before he gets injured. But as it turns out, even though he has been shot, he isn't exactly dead. Nope, he survived the bullet somehow, which is fucking awesome. And he does also kick some ass later on in the movie. He is a fucking awesome character, mainly because of the fact that by the beginning of the movie, it's not certain if he is alive or not. But yeah, he is a great character. Of course, there are plenty more characters that are fucking fantastic. But it's time to move on. Let's talk about other things about the movie. The humor is what I'm going to talk about next. I will admit, there are many lines that made me fucking laugh. And this is a movie that has the humor and the dialogue and not because of ridiculous shit happening. A lot of the dialogue really is fucking funny. Now of course not all of the dialogue is funny, in fact there is a lot of serious dialogue in this movie as well. Speaking of seriousness, all of the situations happening in the movie are fucking serious, which works well for this movie. I am glad to laugh at the dialogue to go with the serious moments of this movie. Also this movie does not have scenes in chronological order. And you know what? 
that works well for the movie because things make more sense as the movie goes on. And I also think that it's interesting that the scenes are not in chronological order. In most movies the scenes are like that, but in this movie they aren't, and that is fucking awesome for this movie. What I love about Quentin Tarantino is the fact that he is able to make scenes appear in any order he wants and make it work. He also did that in Pulp Fiction, by the way. Speaking of Quentin Tarantino, there is one very interesting thing to note about this movie. Quentin Tarantino appears in his own movie, Reserve Dogs. And he isn't in a cameo. He is a major character of this movie, which is fucking awesome because most of the times when directors appear in their own movies, they appear in a cameo if at all. Of course there are a few other movies where the director appears in his own movie, but it is rare, so it is fucking awesome to see Quentin as a major character in the movie. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. Reserve Your Dogs is fucking awesome. Now where would I put this on my list of favorite Quentin Tarantino movies? To be entirely honest, I don't fucking know. Making a favorite Quentin Tarantino movies list isn't something that would take within a day. I would have to think about it a lot since there are so many fucking fantastic movies by Quentin Tarantino. But I will say that the server talk is a fucking fantastic movie like Django Unchained and Pulp Fiction are. But I honestly can't tell as of now if it's better or worse than Django Unchained. I really have to think about that. It is a fucking fantastic movie though and for that I'm going to give it two thumbs up. Well guys, that's all I gotta say. Thank you for watching a great day.